In the yard, the first hundred ewes are being prepared for breeding. OK. The females must be in the best possible condition before they meet with the males. And Edith and Violet are learning about an extra step. OK, so you can actually hold the tail like that if you like. That's perfect. How far down should I go? Well, you don't have to go down too far. I'll hold the tail. Tailing is basically the removal of some wool from the top of the, the ewe, the ewe's tail, to make it so that the tuck can mate with her without there being anything in the way. He's got his work cut out. He could have up to 100 ladies to get friendly with. Perfect. Right, should we do the other side? Yeah. Oh, now that's really good. Now, look at that. Can you see now that when the tuck wants to mate with her, he can, he can get to her bit. I find it embarrassing. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> embarrassed? Yeah. Oh. I know what it is, but I'm not saying it. I'm not slightly embarrassed by it. Not at all. I can talk about it all day long. So there. Now, it's a very woolly tail. So go for it, Ede. Perfect. Well done. You'll get used to how it feels. That's perfect. With the family's first batch of Swaledale ewes prepared for their rendezvous with the tup ahead of time, attentions are turned to up-and-coming farmer Miles and his flock of pre-tailed Texels. So we're going to let the tup go to these today. We're going to mix up some rud and, uh, and put the ram to them, put the tup with them and see what happens. Right, well, stand back, stand back. Oh, try. No, 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 I've got a halter. Don't, don't I've got a halter. Me. Open door to. You don't want him gone? Uh, no, I don't want him gone, do I? You're not liking that. No, it doesn't, it doesn't like this. Hey, calm down, he'll sit. Look, there, ooh, look. Oh, fella, whoa, fella. Whoa. I don't think I need to. Come on. <laughs> Can Miley run and get the rod? Yep. The rud is a type of thick paint that's applied to the tup's chest. Well done, man. It, it gives us so much knowledge uh, because it tells us when, when a sheep has been with the tup. And then we know that exactly five months, less four days later, baby lamb will come. What is it they say? Knowledge is power. There, that'll do him for a start. And we're going to see what happens then. Oh, yeah. They're taken with him. A bit of a ladies' man. Come on, fella. Can you undo him? Right. I think this yow is a tough in tears. What are we looking for? Well, we're seeing if there's any of these ladies a tough in. We're waiting for um, it to happen. It to happen. What is it? I love you, Mum. You see that one there that he's with now? She's in season. Look, 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 look. He's sniffing. There's like a little courtship dance going on now. Look, she's wagging her tail. She... Those two sheep are in love. Look. The ins and outs of sheep reproduction can be a tricky business, but one that Dad of nine, Clive, has plenty of experience in. It's good to see him work. It's good to see that everything's happening as it should be. So yeah, some are better at it than others. I suppose that applies to all species. <laughs> there you go. This is important stuff for us, and, and we need to know that, that he's doing what he's supposed to do. Although she's got a yellow bum, doesn't mean she's in lamb. Once we know that everything's working right, that he's getting to where he needs to be, then we can uh, relax a bit knowing that when he's marked one, he's actually, he has actually mated with it. That's what we wanted to see. It was short and sweet if it did. I think we let it go of that tupped. Sexy time! <laughs> it must be quite an awkward topic for some parents, obviously, when they don't have this going on in the yard. They see it a lot and they see it every year and it's part of what we do. They're getting their birds in the bees top, but it's happening right in front of them. Breeding season in full swing, today the Owens have an important task ahead. At the farm, the family's herd of pedigree shorthorn cows need a new bull to breed with. At the annual Skipton show and sale, some of the oldest and top beef shorthorn cattle in the UK will go under the hammer. 
Farmers from across the country will be scrabbling to grab themselves a bargain, and Clive is hoping to be one of them. Clive has brought along up-and-coming farmer Miles and keen stockswoman Edith to help him find the right bull for Ravenseat's herd. Right, come on, and let's go and see if we can decide on some that we like. Just seeing what there is. Just look for bulls. Clive's on the hunt for his preference of a roan bull, an even mixture of coloured and white hair. But there's a snag. OK, right, if we don't want him. Well, basically, where we're at, we've only two bulls here, so we've only two choices. And we know we don't like a red one. Yeah. That bull there, he's a bull he looks a grand bull, but he's not my colour. I don't want a red one. I want a round one. So... Your choices are limited. So that leaves this fella. But I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think? I think, I think he's a bit narrow. He stands a bit narrow for me. I'm looking for a bull that's a bit thicker and a bit wider. Well, he's a nice bull. Hmm? I like him. I like him. I think you've been a bit harsh, but anyway, there you no, go. No, that's what I think about him. Clive isn't taken with either bull, but Amanda doesn't think they should give up just yet. This thing, right, you need, like, when you want baby cows, I mean, it depends if he doesn't make so much money. I think the way to play it is just to go and see what he makes. So, shall we go and get a seat in yeah, ring? Get what do you think? Yeah. Huh? Sale starting. Thanks to Amanda's powers of persuasion, Clive decides to watch the auction despite his reservations. Amanda's hoping a low asking price may tip the balance and entice Clive into grabbing a bargain bull. That's it. We've kind of got a lot of cows and heifers and we kind of need oh, a boy cow. Of course we do, of course we do. Because you know how that works, don't you? This bull comes into here, this massive red bull, you wouldn't even bid on him. Uh, I've said all the time I don't want a red. The first bull to enter the ring is Clive's choice of colour, but the poorer build of the two. What do you think? It's the right colour, that's about it. <laughs> he's getting himself now, he's getting him nice and soft. With Clive unmoved and the roan bull being snatched up by another buyer, the red bull that caught the eye of Miles and Amanda enters the ring. Okay. No, just doing it for me. Having not bid on either bull and the auction moving on to the sale of females, it seems like the two-hour drive to Skipton has been a waste of time. Right, well, let's go and have a look round, see what we can see, guys, yeah? Something come, there's something coming with a ticket on it, a get fancy thing. Watch, keep watching. There's one coming in that your mother's caught your mother's eye, so we're just going to stop watching it. Unbeknownst to Clive, Amanda has entered a bidding war for a female. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did. You did. Well, you did it. <laughs> Overlooked by Clive and the family, Amanda's quick winks have secured the purchase of a prize female. Not the breeding bull Clive wanted. <laughs> Greedy was worried she thought it was her. I thought he was pointing at me. I thought you're not an idol, there. Oh, I said you. I think we better go. Right, come on, guys. Done enough damage here. Despite the new cow not being the breeding bull the family came for, Amanda has made a purchase that will still benefit the herd. We've got a cow today, so, so I just begin to think she's not uh, just listening to everything I say, is she? She's a very good judge of, of, of situations. She fell for it and, and, and she bought it. So it is a lot of money, and it is a lot of money, but it's, it's, it's the cattle, livestock, you know, good livestock are expensive. and It's a lovely thing. It'll go home and, and, and become part of our herd. And she's a very clever woman. She, she has bought a good one. So, so I forgive her. 